This craft is for the 1978 summer movie Grease. It was a musical starring Olivia Newton John and John Travolta. The musical is based in the 1950s where good girl Sandy and greaser Danny they fall in love over the summer but then they find out they're going to the same high school in the fall and things change a little bit. It was an entertaining movie. For my craft I chose to decorate a notebook as back in the 1950s they didn't have the fancy schmancy notebooks that we do today and if you wanted something specialized you had to make it yourself. The musical is based in the 1950s where good girl Sandy and greaser Danny they fall in love over the summer but then they find out they're going to the same high school in the fall and things change a little bit. It was an entertaining movie although a bit dated. As I didn't want to run out of space, I decided to sketch it out on a white sheet of paper. I'll probably decorate the paper and then glue that to the notebook. To straighten up the edges, I just used the notebook itself. As my favorite number in the film was the beauty school dropout number, that's how I decided to decorate the front of my notebook and then for the back I'm going to put pink ladies on it which is the girl group that Sandy ended up joining. I started out with an acrylic paint pen but ended up going with a sharpie as the acrylic paint pen was a little too thick and was also starting to dry out. I'm just going over the letters and trying to pretty them up a little bit with the sharpie. I decided to cut it down and I'm going to cut between beauty school and drop out so I can space them out a little better. This is my inspiration picture from the movie. This is what I sketched out. Yeah, I didn't get the face right, but I'm going to go with it. For my craft for the movie Grease, I'm going to decorate a notebook because when I was in high school I wanted to get all these fancy things that they had and mom said just decorate your own you don't need that and then you'll have something original so that's what I'm gonna do here for the base I'm going to paint it white but I wanted to have a more full coverage and I'd seen somewhere on YouTube somebody put talc in their paint so that's what I'm gonna try doing here I think they use like a one-to-one -one. And I'm going to try mixing it up. I played with it until I got the consistency I think I want. And now I'm going to paint. It may take a couple coats. Although there's a few patchy spots, for the most part, it's covered pretty well for one coat. But it, since I use the Gold Bond medicated powder, it does smell a little bit like that, so I'm getting that medicated smell off the folder I hadn't planned on. Hopefully that'll go away. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to give it one more coat. This is how the notebook looks with the second coat of paint. And this is what I've got done so far with the silver pen. I decided to cut out the pieces and I started to paint but I thought it needed to be outlined so I did that in black and then I'm going to paint it in with paint pens. On the center where the rollers are I just used this iridescent glitter glue and I also used it all over the cape and a little bit over here on the dryer. And I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to color the face. For the eyes, I ended up with going with green as I don't have brown in the acrylic paint pens and pink for the lips. For the lettering, I decided to give it some color so I painted around the beauty school in pink. And for the dropout, I used yellow, pink, it's, a, it's actually a light violet color, some orange 
and tried to make it look more like one of the old time drive-in signs. As I didn't have the right shade for skin tone, I ended up getting to, into my nail polish stash because I knew I had like a peachy pink skin tone color. So I used that for the face and the arm. I set the pieces out on the cover and now I'm going to use a glue stick to glue them down. As I didn't end up with the sparkle I want on the cape, I went in with some clear glue and I'm going to add some glitter. For the back of the notebook, I had mixed some white paint with some hot pink tempera paint to make it a lighter pink gave it two coats and then for the pink ladies I just freehanded that and I'm sorry but I lost the footage on the DIY part. The summer movie series challenge is hosted by the talented and creative Sue at Discovering the Art of Living. Below is a link to check out her channel 